My name's Karen. I've been approved um, since December 2017. My husband and I, uh, Marcus, have been um, approved for fostering ages 5 to 17. I chose to foster with tact um, after researching a few um, private foster agencies online. Um, TACT website um, had a better background of what they covered and a few case studies on there. I've, I listened to the videos and read up the different quotes that uh, the approved foster carers had already placed and um, yeah, that's, that's why I went with TACT. Yeah. The assessment process um, that I followed to become a foster carer with TACT, um, I found very structured, very thorough and um, gave a very in-depth um, background into what we were um, going into um, when we eventually became approved foster carers. When I was first told about a, a possible placement, I just felt a little bit nervous, excited, and just um, quite ready to, to take on yeah, my first placement. Yeah, so it was a, an exciting time. The, the things that Karen brings to, to fostering, Karen and, and her husband Marcus bring to fostering, is the, the time and the energy and the motivation to be able to, to dedicate that to the child that they, they look after. Uh, it's a child who'd come from a very um, disorganised background with, 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 with a lack of attention. Um, Karen and Marcus's family, are uh, their children are, uh, are adults now, um, so they've got the time and, uh, and, and, and the motivation to be able to offer that individual care that that child needs. And the support I've received from tax since I've made the placement has been um, really good. When I first got given the placement it was a big shock because um, I was told at dinner time and come tea time I was told she was arriving within an hour. The out of hour support were there for me to ring because it was a Friday night so um, obviously going into the weekend it was all a case of having numbers and people I could ring to, to find out. Plus I was given a, a call over the weekend um, to, let, to, to find out how, how I was doing. Um, so yeah, I felt very supported by them. Um, I have a, a support a social worker who comes and sees me and we have face-to-face -face visits um, very uh, frequently. They're always on hand for me to call if I never, ever need any help with any, any issues I've got or any, anything I need to discuss. There's lots of day, day training that we've been given. Um, and anything we need, we can just give them a call. They, they are really good and, and there's always someone to ring. Um, with TACT, um, specifically, the people uh, are really friendly. Um, you can ask them anything and you can ring any one of them up at whatever level they're based at. And they're just really um, supportive and they'll, uh, they'll answer anything you've got, no matter how small or how big the issue is. The positive changes I've seen uh, in the young person that I've um, fostered so far as the, um, the change in the structure to um, daily routine, um, the different little things that we all take for granted like um, just going out for, for day trips or maybe going on a family holiday, so that's been, been a really, really good thing to to see. The way it makes me feel knowing the impact I've had on the child's life is I um, can't really describe it because it's got a kind of a, a thing that you want to give to somebody so you know they're going to be leaving you with some um, foundations to, to, go, to growing up to become um, a better person and to, to know that you've supported them in some way. Now I'm a foster carer with an approved placement um, it is what I've expected it to be, um, and more, but also um, you have to be prepared for how uh, busy your life becomes and how, f how everything sort of like involves this little person that you're, you're looking after. Um, it doesn't stop, it's not a nine to five job, but um, it is very, very rewarding. And like I said, to see someone's eyes light up for, for showing them the first experiences of things is a, is a really good thing. If you've thought about doing it but not yet inquired or looked into it, then I would advise people just to go ahead and do it because if I hadn't have done it, if I hadn't have done this when I had done it, I'd have probably carried on thinking, well, would it, you know, what would it have been like to have been a foster carer? And, and for me, it's, it's just extremely rewarding and, and um, knowing that you're gonna make a difference to somebody and, 
and help them out. I just think personally it's the best feeling, so yeah.